I've been living here for about nine and a half years. Now I'm ready to go. I'm like on a mission to get you a brighter space. There's no closets at all. There's no second bedroom here. Could be the deal breaker. What I see here is a dining room. This whole process has really stressed him out. Add a lot of stress. A little too much stress, I think. When you're renting over the long term, the character of your neighborhood can sometimes change. Trendy locations can lose their cool, and up and coming neighborhoods can really take off. For the past nine and a half years, design savvy Chris has found peace and quiet in the gorgeous upscale neighborhood he currently rents in. But lately, there's been an influx of noisy neighbors, and Chris knows it's time to fly the coop. When I first moved into this building, it was a very established building. It's been quite noisy lately. I'm not getting a lot of peace and quiet that I need. Now I'm ready to go. So this is my best friend, Christine. We've known each other for about 20 years or so. We run everything by each other. I'm going to be the voice of reason. I've put a lot of love and care into the place, and uh, I think I'm just ready to move on. This is the kitchen. It's kind of small. It took me about 22 hours to paint. Here is my living room. It's been painted a couple of times. And over this way is the bathroom. One of the things that does bother me is the sink with the hot and cold water tab. So you never get the lukewarm water. You either have to go from really hot to really cold. A lot has changed in nine years. Finding a two-bedroom condo in a trendy neighborhood has proven harder than Chris remembers. After two years of been looking for something and I'm not finding anything. He needs me to get him into a serene two-bedroom that's both affordable and loaded with design potential. Hi there. Hi, you must be Chris. Come on in. Wow, this place is gorgeous. Thank you. Joni, this is my friend Christine. Hi, Christine. Nice Hi. to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. So can you tell me what you like about it and what you'd like to change about it? Um, I would like a second bedroom. Is that to be able to have friends like Christine come and stay over? Exactly, friends, family. Plus, I'm really into wallpaper right now, and I'd really like to wallpaper. There's a big buckle in the wall. You can't really wallpaper walls like this. It's so very hard. hard. Yes. So, a new place with great walls would be a, a bonus. Christine, where do you see the change happening for Chris? One of the things that he's found in this place is it's very hard to entertain here. What would you be looking for in your next neighborhood? Maybe something a little more um, upbeat and trendy. I don't spend much time in this neighborhood. I tend to go to other areas. Okay. My budget is 1300 I would prefer that to be inclusive. Okay, great. That gives me a lot to work with. Chris has mixed needs. He wants to go downtown where it's inevitably noisier, but he'd like a really nice and quiet place. So I'm going to have to get him into something that's a new build, something that was built with noise consciousness in mind. When you're on the move, try researching areas that might not have interested you last time around. A lot can change in a few years, and the rental market is always evolving. I've decided to take Chris a little bit out of his element to show him a one-bedroom rental in a semi-detached house. It's in an up-and-coming, trendy neighborhood, so it still has a bit of grit, but it's close to all the amenities, and it's on a quieter street in more of a neighborhood setting. Here we are in one of the city's trendiest neighborhoods. Lots of great uh, bars and restaurants and art galleries, etc. The area's really on an upswing. Let's check it out. All right. Come on in. Wow, it's a big space. You would come into what I think you would end up using as an office. And because it's your front entrance office, you'd have to keep it really tidy. <laughs> I have a hunch you're good at that. Great walls, good for wallpaper. So that definitely works, that's a plus. <laughs> <laughs> Since the walls here are big and free of dents, they're perfect for wallpaper. Always check with the landlord first, though. Offering to take it down before you move out might satisfy any concerns they may have. Oh, wow. Wow, this is beautiful. The kitchen definitely sells the place. The so completely renovated kitchen like you would find in a big house. The bathroom and the kitchen here are done with love. This is not what landlords build for tenants. Maple cabinetry, marble floor, granite and wood countertop. Wow, this is uh, more of the feel of a condo than a rental unit. He can have people in the kitchen with him while he's cooking, which is something he doesn't have at the moment, which will be a wonderful change. You guys have got to see this. The landlord is planning on finishing this off with a cedar deck. Oh, wow, nice. Wow, very nice. Christine, can you imagine shaking up some margaritas out here? Oh, this is perfect. I mean, to have a barbecue and entertain in the nice weather would be fabulous. It's definitely so much better than I have now. It's got four or five times the size. It's perfect. To have that kind of big, useful outdoor space is phenomenal. All right, let's go check out the living room.
Wow, what a great space. It's very bright with the window and everything. I like that the space is really big. And it needs to be big because there's no second bedroom here. So what I'm seeing is that you would have your living room double as a second bedroom on the odd occasion that you've got someone overnight. Pull-out couches are a great way for renters to have overnight guests when they don't have the luxury of a guest room. It's worth investing in the best one you can afford because you want the bed to be comfortable and the sofa to fit with your decor. Good quality pieces will last you years. To offset the cost, we'd get creative with a bright turquoise feature wall and inexpensive cubes instead of expensive art. I think I can live with staying in the living room when I come to visit, but I think it's something we can work around with the size of the rooms. Huge bedroom. Wow, it is quite massive. And I love the bay window. Yeah, it's that's beautiful. gorgeous. You need to check out this closet. This closet was made for you. These are all adjustable. It's a system where you can lift, you can lower, you can do whatever you want, and you can create the closet of your dreams. Mm, definitely amazing. I especially like the closets. Um, I've always wanted big closets like that. I do have a lot of clothes. I have a lot of shoes. I have a lot of stuff, so this would be great. The size is great. It's bigger than my present bedroom. It's got so much bright light, and he's in such a dark space now. It'll change the way he lives to have that much light. The bathroom is gorgeous. So completely renovated. Wow, this is amazing. There's a huge vanity under the sink. So good for storage. And wow, look at that. A cold and a hot water tap coming out of the same faucet. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Pretty great place. It is quite amazing, yes. Pretty big upgrade from where you are now. Definitely. So all that for the low, low price of $1,280 okay. plus utilities. Okay. So I'm a little higher than the $1,300 that you had said you'd be OK with. Yeah. Neighborhood was a bit of a surprise. It's a little bit rough around the edges. Not an area I may have considered on a first uh, first look. But I think there's a lot of things that Chris was looking for. Larger kitchen, nice appliances, updated bathroom. The large bedroom, I, I know he definitely would like. The fact that there's not a second bedroom, a little frustrating, I guess, but definitely something to consider. Since Chris has gotten accustomed to living in a high rise, I'm taking him to see a condo rental in a large building right in the heart of downtown. It's busier than he may have wanted, but lively enough that everything's right at his doorstep. I definitely like the neighborhood. It's in centralized, very downtown, uh, very vibrant, a lot going on. So definitely something I was looking for. So you know, it's a downtown condo. It's not huge. It's a little compact the way most downtown places are. That's the trade-off. The kitchen's a little small, but it's modern, and uh, you get adult-sized appliances. Typical kitchen, galley style, nothing superior to my kitchen right now. People still can't help them cook. It's not much closer to the dining area or the entertaining area, so it's not really a benefit. This is the living space, pretty similar size-wise to what you've got now. Yeah, it looks the same, except for the whole row of windows. I'm like on a mission to get you a brighter space. <laughs> Whether you like it or not. Do the curtains come with the unit itself? I can ask the landlord to throw them in the lease. So this place is currently being lived in by two singles. So they've got this room used as a bedroom. No, it's a little small to be a second bedroom. I knew he was going to say that. What I see here is a dining room. If it's too small to be his second bedroom, we could easily change it into a great dining space. With the landlord's permission, I'd start by adding wallpaper with white wainscoting below. Renters can easily install wainscoting themselves with some trim molding and paint. Although wallpaper can be expensive, only using half the amount here will help the budget. A round dining table in a square room is a great way to create good flow, and there's potential for more seating. Definitely, that would work well. And we could really dress the room up nicely with some of your wallpaper that you've been dying to put up. <laughs> Wonderful. Which would really give a nice formal feel to a dining room. The smaller bedroom, it's not palatial. The bedroom in this place is probably the biggest negative. It's quite small, probably smaller than what he's got now. Um, and there's no storage in it. You would definitely need to be very creative. Definitely, there's no closets at all. Downtown living at its best. Wow. <laughs> so that's the thing about this place. It's so central, it's such an awesome location, but it's tight. And that's very typical of this price range. The price that they're asking for this place is top of your budget, 1300 plus another $100 for parking, because parking's at a premium when you're downtown. So that's 1200 bucks a year. 
$1,200 a year is a lot. I mean, that's typically a month's rent. That kind of has me a little frustrated and a little taken aback. I love the neighborhood this is in. It has everything on paper that I'm really looking for. I'm just a little worried, though, at the extra costs involved, especially the parking. This was the number one neighborhood for Chris. He wanted to be down here where all the action is, but he wanted something big and quiet too. It's really hard to find a good size two bedroom, especially within Chris's budget. I think it would be a bit of a give and take knocking off the second bedroom from my wish list. It is a perk to be down in the central location. Is it worth giving up the second bedroom? I'm not quite sure yet. It could be the deal breaker. I'm on a mission to give Chris the full spectrum of the rental market. So that takes us to a lovely, quiet street a little further than Chris might be expecting. We're in a residential neighborhood about 25 minutes outside of the downtown core, but it's only a bus ride away from the subway, so it's not too big of a sacrifice. I'm taking Chris in to see the potential perks of looking just outside the busy city. So guys, we're in a very residential neighborhood, way far away from the downtown <laughs> core that you wanted to live in, but it's gonna be worth looking at and it gives you lots more space. Let's check it out. I was a little concerned about the area. I was hoping for something a little more urban, but I'm back in the burbs. So come on in. Oh, wow, very nice. Nice windows, eh? Great Beautiful. windows, very nice, very bright. It's nice and open. My first thought was that it was quite airy, quite large. A couple of things I wasn't too sure about. The living space, just having the front door off of it is a little awkward because it's very narrow. I like the open concept. It'll be great for entertaining because you can have people at the table, people in the living room, so that works well. Yeah, and it's got some great walls for wallpapering. And he had uh, the hardwood floors covered up for years and years with carpet, so they're beautiful. They are. The chandelier's got to go. So <laughs> it's a little 70s for me. Back into a galley-style kitchen, but this one has loads of cupboard space. I thought it would be better as far as storage goes for you. And it has a lot more counter space as well in the double sink, which is really nice. I definitely wanted something that was a little more open concept. This works because of the kitchen and the dining room being off of each other. So, Chris, what do you think of this master bedroom? It's good size, big window, ceiling fan, that's cool. And the piaster as you stance. Huge oh, closet. Wow. That's like Very a bowling alley. Let's check out the second bedroom. Cool. What do you think, madame? You could have a, a beautiful big room for yourself. It is wonderful. I finally have a room with a door. It'll be great when his parents come in from out of town or for myself, <laughs> definitely. So there's a little linen closet here. Great. And the bathroom's a little bit retro. Everything else looks great. New tile, new fixtures. Duly note the hot and cold Which faucet. Which is a definite must. Chris, what do you think? My big concern is this space, the living area. It's a little tight fitting. Another thing would be not having an entry closet. That's a little awkward. We can deal with all of those issues. In an awkward room, it's all about space planning. First off, to create some separation and a sense of privacy, we'd place an inexpensive shelving unit by the front door. It's an instant way to section off a room on a renter's budget. Just make sure both sides are finished and painted. That would help the seating area feel intimate and warm. And with nice sized coffee and side tables, it'll be the perfect place to entertain guests. I'm right on budget here. I'm actually a little under it. This place is $1,200 per month, including all of the utilities other than hydro. I think it could work. What do you think? The up and coming neighborhood gen, the downtown condo, or the quiet residential apartment just outside the city. After nine years in his midtown high rise, Will one of these be Chris's new home? So guys, we've seen a lot of places. What do you think? Well, the second floor duplex, which was in an up and coming area, wouldn't have had my second bedroom. Kitchen was beautiful, so was the bathroom. I really liked it. But something was saying it just wasn't for me. I really wanted that second bedroom. The second one, the condo downtown, great location. Being downtown was a definite bonus for it, but unfortunately the size just didn't work. And then there's the triplex that we just saw. The area I was a little concerned about also does have the second bedroom. It is very residential though, so it wasn't quite what I was hoping for. All three rentals hit the budget mark, but the one at the top just wasn't enough bang for the buck. That leaves the closer to downtown duplex or the triplex just outside the city. The triplex, hands down, it's the one. It is quite large. It has the second bedroom. The price is phenomenal. 
and everything that's included was what I was looking for. Wow, you're shocking me because I thought you were so dead set on being like downtown in the heart of the action. So that seems to have really changed. I realize now that trying to live downtown in the central location, it does cost a lot of money. I think this is a great apartment choice for Chris. He's really going to enjoy designing it and living here. Christine's not complaining either. In order to get this place, you need to call the landlord right away. Places like this do not last on the market. I can imagine, yeah. Landlords love long-term renters like Chris. The less turnover, the less money they lose finding new renters. I'd be really interested in the location. I wondered if we could meet. When competition is fierce, assuring the landlord you plan on staying for the long haul might tip the scale in your favor. Well, everything's set. I'm going to meet with them. Good stuff. Best of luck. You'll have to call me. Let me know how it goes. The conversation went great when I met the landlords. They were looking for somebody that wanted to move in and stay for a longer period of time. That was very beneficial for them and one of the strong reasons why they chose me to be their tenant. This is a great relief off my shoulders, and uh, I'm looking forward to the next step. After nine years of living in not-so-peace and quiet, Chris packed up his apartment and his cat, Winston. Hoping for a quick and easy move, Chris hired professional movers, but decided to go with a half day for almost half the cost and asked friends to help with the smaller items. But I always advise clients to ask for the first appointment of the day because when the moving company ran late, Chris suffered the consequences, which put him hours behind, making for one stressful and expensive experience at $450 in the dark. Add a lot of stress, a little too much stress, I think. There hasn't been much done uh, as far as character and design goes in this place, so it's exciting to get my hands on it and give it a fresh new look. My design plan is centered around sourcing some beautiful fabrics that'll work with Chris's wallpaper choices. He's taking care of installing the wallpaper he's always wanted, and I'm taking care of the rest. My biggest challenge, on a budget less than his monthly rent, I need to unveil the true potential of this huge space and help it function to suit Chris's lifestyle. We're assembling an easy and inexpensive unit that'll add some privacy to the front entrance and function as decorative storage. The living room walls are getting a coat of bold teal, which will complement the wallpaper. And a great new light fixture will add a bit of glam to the dining space, the perfect touch for a space to entertain. This living dining space is well on its way, and after a stressful move, I'm hoping our design will bring Chris some peace instead of disappointment. Wow. Wow. That's a great blue. That wall is awesome. And she did an amazing job. The wall it looks works great. So, well. so do the window treatments. Perfect. It's very welcoming and very warm environment to be in. And I love these little shelves. They work out really well, so it gives you yeah. the division you wanted. Yes, I thought that the open shelving unit would be perfect for you. It's very dark. Just stands out a bit without being too intrusive. It provides you with some, a little bit of privacy right when you come in the door. It's not only useful for storing and displaying things, it's also helpful to kind of keep that door separate from everywhere. It's something I can take with me. It's a, it's a very flexible piece. We recovered your couch with uh, simple slip covers. I asked Jody, could we get it recovered and reuse it? And that's what we've done. I'm glad I still have my old couch. Slip covers are an inexpensive way for renters to bring new life to really good quality older pieces of furniture. It definitely looks like a totally different couch. That's cool. I use a lot of mirrors in this space because it's a bit of an angular room. So the mirrors add a lot of depth, but they also add loads of glamour. I love the way that you can see everything in the room from any angle. It's really great. And it brings all the colors back into the room, which is nice. She's done an amazing job. It'll be someplace I'll be proud to show people. I like my wallpaper, of course. <laughs> <laughs> my wallpaper looks awesome. Now let's look at the dining room. Okay. Chris, I have to thank you for putting up such big, full, beautiful wallpaper. This rental has three huge windows. <laughs> we did horizontal blinds in a big, masculine, white slat. I think it was worth the money to be able to give you the control that you'd be looking for. Chris is the type to stay in a rental for a long time, and that makes a big purchase like custom blinds absolutely worth the investment. These curtains that are made out of just a simple velvet fabric were very inexpensive. It's a great, easy way for any renter to add a lot of glam to their space. And the color just really pops at you, and it looks great with the wallpaper. 
I also love the dining room set that you chose. It's an eight-seater square, which looks fabulous. I really love the flow of the space in here, the way the rooms kind of work together so that when you're entertaining, you can be in the living room or the dining room and you can still converse with each other. You could have a serious dinner party here. I'm really loving that chandelier. You did a great job picking that out. It just, it really pops. It's very sparkly without being uh, too overdone, which is uh, kind of me. The dining room is perfect, uh, beautiful colors. The rest of the room is great too. It's just a perfect space for me. It's definitely looking nice and rich and uh, making me feel more at home. Perfect. The kitchen. I think it will be a great space. Lots of room to get some cooking done. I really like the gray color that's being used in there as kind of an accent. Everybody looked at the office space that I was calling the den and kind of laughing, saying, that's too small for an office. But I think now everyone can see that it is a great space for that. It's perfect. Chris's bedroom is absolutely bang on his style. It's a really big room. It's going to be my kind of sanctuary. This place has been so much fun to work on. It's been a blast. Thank you, it, it looks amazing. I'm happy with the results. I think uh, it's a place I'm gonna be very comfortable in. Chris really contributed to the design of this space. He bought wallpaper, had it installed. He even bought some furniture. And we were able to do all the rest for under $950. It really didn't take an awful lot to turn this space around. I may be only renting and it may not be mine, but I'm still living there. And whether it be for a year or 10 years, it has to be a reflection of me. I think I finally found a place that really says, this is my life, it fits in perfectly. It's where I want to be. And all my fears have been laid to rest. And I think I'm going to enjoy quite a few years here.